Hey everyone, let's jump right on into your messages. Great Spirit, what messages do you have for whoever clicked on this video? What messages do you have for whoever clicked onto this video? Okay, I'm hearing be quiet or be still. Okay, so um, it may be time for you to, you know, um, take some time back or rethink a situation or... Um, refigure uh some some type some type of thought pattern or um something spirit is getting spirit wants you to be still spirit you know wants you to connect um with them okay um connect with the spiritual world the non-physical that's what we'll call it connect with non-physical connect with the universe okay connect with the sun connect with the moon connect with um what you can see with the earth with the ground as well you you know what i mean the elements that are here um and i feel like that's what spirit spirit is journeying you to be able to do um to be able to really um connect and receive messages here okay um to instruct your life okay it's like i'm hearing it's like you don't have to go to you it's like you want real instruction for your life okay um it's like it's not it's not necessarily found in the church okay um it's, it's through meditation okay and being able to be still and clear yourself that way you can hear from spirit hear the signs and synchronicities and when i say here uh, your intuition will bring you thoughts it will bring you feelings when you get quiet when you get still so it's like be still okay and know that i am god okay um also so if you guys uh, need any reassurance about anything spirit is saying be still and know that i am the universe know that i am god okay i am the same as i was yesterday um forever and always you know so i do feel like there's something that you're asking for there's something that you're wishing would come true okay um you could be asking for some type of breakthrough okay or maybe it's not a breakthrough for you for some of you guys um maybe it's a you know um something really exciting um that you're looking forward to of course the breakthrough is exciting as well but things could be just going great and perfect and you're still you know wanting more blessings you want more of your blessings you don't want the blessings to end so it's like oh now that i got this oh now now I want this maybe okay you just got a house and now you want a car or it's like maybe you got a job now now you want to focus on your relationships you know or you know um maybe you're you're focused only on work and it's like you just accomplished one career goal and now you're focusing in on the next and you're asking spirit to bring that in okay um or it could be you know um goals within yourself um to heal yourself or to be better or to feel better about yourself in certain areas feel better about yourself um with the way that you look feel better about yourself with the way um uh that your bank account is feel better about yourself when it comes to your confidence and the way that you um you you show your skills and your gifts and your talents pruning yourself becoming the best version of yourself okay this is what makes the ancestors proud, okay, of, of, of you and the, the work that you have done here by you continuing your path and your journey. Uh, yeah, definitely following your intuition here, okay? And again, paying attention from from, from the signs from, from spirit because they're, they're bringing them to you. They're giving them to you. Let go of any fears that you have. You could be having uh, some type of fear as well. You can fear things are not going to work out. You can fear that you're not going to receive your manifestation. You could have a fear base. You know, everything about you is just fearful. Even, you know, if um, it's like you could be positive, but you could also be fearful. So it's like releasing uh, the your fears, fears around the world, fears around death, fears around um, money, fears around uh, showing yourself, being an extrovert, coming out of your shell really shining and really showing people who you are you know um it's given the energy of performing when you're a performer you know when you're on stage you can't care if how you look people see you i mean you have to care about how you look but but what i'm saying is you can't you can't you can't care to the point where it stops you and 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 freezes you to where you can't move to where you can't perform you know what i mean you have to be confident in what you're doing and your performance 
performance and your practices and so forth. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, don't be afraid. Be, that's true confidence. Being able to truly show yourself in front of the world and not care and be raised up on the platform doing it, having all spotlight on you, showing people, hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. And giving them almost, you know, that energy to or power to judge it. But that's where you don't care about how they judge it because they're going to judge it anyways. But you don't have to take on those projections because you filled up your own self and your own confidence with who you are through your practice or through um, your mental uh, healing and everything that you've done. The, the saying, hey, I'm not going to allow, um, uh, you know, what my ex said to bother me or, or I'm not going to allow what, you know, my teacher said back then. You know, some people still have things that are really ringing in their mindsets that are affecting them. Really learning how to let go of anything that has fueled, started your fears or fueled your fears. Okay, removing yourself from people that want to break your heart. Okay, um, break your stability, break your bank account. You know, removing yourself from those type of energies, whether they're your own, whether they're other people, situations, environments here. Really putting yourself on that platinum level. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for you. You're you're at platinum level here. You are five stars, baby. Come on, you're a five stars. Act like it. Treat yourself like it. Take yourself to a five-star restaurant. Really take care of yourself. Put yourself in that energy to where you are a person who is able to receive uh, this, this financial abundance for yourself, this wealthy mindset that, that you, that you uh, have built for yourself or that you're building for yourself. I'm getting a lot of taste for food. Like you could be going to like a nice steakhouse or it's like I'm tasting seasonings and so forth, you know. Um, also, um, fish and tartar sauce. Um, I was picking that up earlier as well, okay. Some of you guys could be pescatarian. Yeah, and as you continue to work and heal um, different areas of your life, okay, especially around work, money, being able to gain, being able to have more, being able to have abundance, maybe you feel like you're not worthy of abundance. Maybe your environments didn't show you that abundance was available to you, but you have the power to change that, okay? You can have a lot of options or confusions or, you know, some choices that you have to make about how to walk away, you know? Somebody could be dreaming about you or thinking about how they walked away from you or you could be thinking about how you walked away from someone or how you're going to walk away from someone. You could be planning your escape, planning your exit. This could be at work. You could be given like a two week notice or maybe you're saying, fuck that job. I don't care. And exactly. I saw the emperor here at the bottom of the deck here. It's like this could definitely be some type of work situation. Somebody could be trying to be controlling as well. You could be dealing with the Taurus or you could be a Taurus. Also, Cancer, Pisces energy here. Also, Scorpio, water energy. Okay. Ground yourself. You gonna you the choices you make leads to some type of celebration. So trust your instincts because whatever you choose or decide to do is definitely leading to some type of celebration. I feel um like you're gonna be socializing or you're you're in an emotional state where you're always happy, you're always joyful, you're always feeling good. It's like we up, you know what I mean? It's like you could be um having a lot going on, but in a good way. It's like you know you're you you're just doing a lot, but it's it feels good. It's like you're waking up, you know, it's kind of like that swag energy you know go watch that video hop up out the bed turn my swag on okay it's a few videos down but it's like you waking up you feeling good you hop in the mirror you say your affirmations you brush your teeth you shower you know what i mean you you take care of yourself you you lotion you moisturize your body you know what i mean you say you feeling good with, with the clothes and stuff you putting on you know you you know making sure you look good from head to toe feeding yourself here okay and it's like you going out to take on the day you feeling good and positive about the day you like ain't Ain't nothing gonna stop me ain't nothing gonna hold me down type of energy okay i feel like you're managing your time okay but i feel like this could be with work your money but i feel like all, everything you're doing it's with a positive mindset it's with a can-do attitude okay um you know that things are gonna work out for you you know that um uh it's like you're trusting the process you know that doors are going going to be open you know okay i have this goal if it's not something that you can physically do or take action on then it's a prayer or an 
intention that you have set out and put out there for the universe or cosmos to you know bring back and help you and send you that help or give you the leg up or the 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 the, the notion to help you know what's next or how to manage your time better your money better to, to get some type of opportunity or whatever uh you need okay whatever you're sending out okay i definitely feel like you're planting seeds you're constantly planting seeds okay and i feel like the seeds that you've planted in the past are definitely coming back um to reward you it's like to bite you in the butt but in a good way it's kind of like being uh it's like uh being um uh, smacked over you know in the middle of the street you know by a by a uh, a bunch of blessings it's like bloom like a bunch of uh, presents, Christmas presents are just being dumped on you, and it's a, it's like you just fall back and like onto the street, like whoa, like they knocked you over, so you on the ground. It's like, but it's a good thing you looking up, like whoa, you trying to catch them all, you know, because they just keep pouring out, you know. It's like you have so many gifts that are pouring out to you. People are gifting you, people are giving you things. Again, people are opening doors for you. Okay, um, you're in alignment. Okay, I feel like people want to work with you spirit is blessing you i just feel like there's you're in a blessed time a lot of great things are taking place you're around other people who are blessed that's the thing you're around other people who are blessed and they know it you're around other people who are very high vibrational and who know their worth and they they um they they have boundaries and they get, they go for what they want and they get it because they they're bold enough to go after it here that's the type of energy that i'm picking up for you guys in this message here okay so i'm I'm gonna leave your read there uh you guys can go ahead and book your readings down below and i will uh see you guys in the next one i am nayla latrice peace